Today I'm going to show you a really easy, quick, seasonal side dish that you can make in just a couple of minutes using fresh corn off the cob. I took my knife and ran it down and just cut them off really quick. You can use as many ears of corn as you like. There's just two of us, so I just used two ears. I also picked some fresh chives from my garden. And after we saute everything, we're going to add just some white wine vinegar, olive oil, and salt and pepper. So let's cook y'all and let's make charred corn salad. The first thing you do is put the corn in a skillet. We're gonna char it or cook it until it's cooked through. I'm gonna add the corn and the red onion. One thing I'm not adding that the original recipe called for is bell pepper. I will put the recipe down in the description box below. It's adapted from a cooking light recipe that came in my email just a couple of weeks ago, and this is probably the third or fourth time I've made it. Corn is abundant right now, it's cheap, and this is a really quick side dish to have with any protein or fish or chicken or pork or anything that you've got. So we'll get this charred and then mix it up. I will say as a side note, while I love this recipe, I have rediscovered the fact that corn pops when you put it in heat. So half the time when I make this salad, I end up having corn corn ah, I end up having corn kernels popping all over the stove and it sort of makes a mess. And of course, since I turned the camera back on, none of them are popping. I just picked up about six that popped all over my cooktop and my floor, but it's a very good salad. We'll finish charring the corn and mix it up. The corn is out of the skillet that I sauteed with the red onion. You can also add bell pepper. I'm gonna go ahead and add the chives. You could leave the chives out. You could probably use um, dried chives. I keep some in my pantry for the winter when I don't have chives. The ratio of vinegar to oil is two to one. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a tablespoon of white wine vinegar and just a half a tablespoon of olive oil. I'll put the original measurements below because they obviously use a lot more uh, olive oil because there's more ears of corn for the two of us. This is plenty. This is two ears and this is just a side to go with uh, a main dish, but it's a quick and easy side. The original recipe does not call for any salt and pepper, which I find very odd, but it is a cooking light recipe and I will leave it below. I think everything savory needs a little salt and pepper, so I will add it. And that is charred corn salad. Thanks for stopping by. Let's cook y'all today. I hope you get a chance to make this and that you and your family enjoy it. Have a blessed day. And thanks for stopping by.